All you need to succeed. Think of me when you need gear for the hunt. <laughs> I heard you practicing the songs. There are I so the many gods them. rejected us. But we can <laughs> hey, Lord. I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands. Saving the Desert Clan from itself? Forcing the Commander Takote out of hiding? Defending the Grove from Regala? I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Your sister sent me. Her squad's been assigned further west, so... She won't be able to come see you, Kore. She wanted to make sure you knew. That sounds like my sister. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's a song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try to metal weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villages southwest of here. You be doing me and playing Song of Favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail.
take care of weeds and replanting today, then. Search. What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the chorus. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. Nature's bounty stitched into the perfect wares. What are we gonna do? Let them rot. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. Yul, please. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for Yul. She used to be friendlier, but grief robs many of their kindness. Grief? You and Zoe brought the land gods back to us, but troubles from our time of want remain. As our crops failed, we sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest to the north to bring back meat. A machine slaughtered the last party we sent out. A cloth rider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it more deadly than any we've seen before. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. If it ventures beyond the forest, no one will be safe. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small pouch of seeds, given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Clostrider. Especially the armor. There's something you should know, Outlander. Keep your guard up if you're heading southwest of Plainsong. 
We've had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like the Utaro could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. Aloy. Looks like Kalai and the search party took down a few machines when they were here. There's the broken bridge. I'm gonna have to take care of these machines before I can look around. Now to look for Kali's seed pouch. I better start at the bridge. A lot of footprints. Must be from the search party. Bree said this is where they found his wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. It looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory.
getting up to the promontory that way. I should see where the other trail leads, back by the broken bridge. Debris. There must have been another path up. Guess Kalai and the search party climbed the cliff instead. This broke off some time ago. Why do I get the feeling this isn't going to be an easy trail to follow? Taru Trailhead. Looks like this is where the Rite of Discovery started. Debris on the trail. Oh, looks like pieces of a bridge. Take this to a dyer later. If Kalai made it to the top, she must have been a good climber. It doesn't add up that she fell. This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. I was playing song. Just like the first Utaru saw it. Flowers, ground into a dye. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. The search party was up here, all right. There's too many tracks to pick out Kalai's. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalai was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. There's the dye trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. This must be part of the Rite of Discovery. All of the marks look old. Clyde must not have gotten to the dye trail ends here. With a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. were snapped off recently from some kind of struggle and over here drag marks looks like they lead through this thicket I can follow them with my focus the wings holding up two bodies one must be Kalai but Who's the other woman? Kalai. Those marks on her neck. She was strangled. At 
least I can return her seed pouch to Bree. So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. Is how the killer died. Okay, I better grab the killer's seed pouch. Might help identify her. Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plainsong will know who the seed pouch belongs to. The screen I might trade for something good. Kalei's death, but perhaps it's... That's Kalei's. You found it. Bree. Kalei didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Kalei and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. It belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the East Gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summerwind. She's running away? 
Well, she needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. There must be summer wind. But where is Kel? There's Kel. What's she holding? So now everyone knows. It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There is a natural order to all things. Growth, decay, death. It's the way of the world. A tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. And I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. Two people dead. At least you're paying with your life. My choice. All of this was your choice. No! She needed to stand trial! Kalai deserves justice. She's dead, Bree. That's justice enough. It isn't much, but... I want you to have this, as thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people, dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you for revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive.
Don't think shock ammo will help. Hey, Lord. Nice of you to join me. Thought you could use the backup. You okay? You arrived not a moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught on a wear by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. Sounds like our long legs at the top of that cliff. Oh, looks like we're climbing. We'll make quick work of it. This reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off to hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru <laughs> students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so Plain Song <laughs> became home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. <laughs> Almost there. Oh, it sounds like that long leg isn't alone up there. I'm afraid you might be right. Could use plasma ammo here. There's our long leg. And the Utaru have fell. It might be best to silence it before it can call the enforcement. Machines incoming!
Now we salvage the part we came for. Care to show me our prize, Huntress? Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers felled by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. Machines to arrive. But Focus has detected another flight recorder.
Guys running out of rain for now. There. You've earned your honor. I've heard of you. You've earned our trust. The Enduring is supposed to be around here somewhere, near an ancient plane. Now that I have all three marks, I can challenge them, whoever they are. A good tactic, to a point. That's the Enduring. And she's... sleeping? dozed off again. Oh. Aren't you a wild flame? Are uh, you the Endura? Uh, that's what they call me. Azureka the Enduring. What do they call you? A lot of things, actually. But my name's Aloy. I heard you're the best fighter among the clans. But you're not what I expected. Well... <laughs> We can't all be as handsome as Hikaro, now can we? I, I earned three marks from the training pits. I, I was told to come here and challenge you to a duel, but do you still even... Ha <laughs> ha! Here we are. Now then, Aloy. Marks? I'll add it to the pile. Come, sit. Lizard? Uh, no thanks. Not good to fight on an empty stomach, you know. But now I know you're direct. Good. To business, then. Come, follow. Where are we going? To the pit, of course. You built your own training pit out here? Well, you don't expect us to fight in my own home, do you? Good point. This is a pretty steep climb. Yeah. There's a village nearby that flooded after a recent storm. Oh. 
Have you lost your courage? <laughs> Here we are. Come, let's begin. Now listen up. You're allowed your spear and a bow only, nothing else. We fight until the other yields. Ready? Wait, I have a couple of questions first. Should have asked back at the fire. Could have had a snack. Go on then. Aside from at the Grove, the clans seem to keep to themselves. So how did you end up training soldiers from all three? Hikaru approached me after he became chief. Spoke of his vision for a united tribe. How the training pits might serve that. By then, I'd fought so many Tanakh, I knew that every clan had great soldiers. So I agreed. Not right now. Very well. There you are. All right. Let's do this then. Don't hold back, Aloy. I won't. It's just... <laughs> All right, I yield. Did you come all this way to I thought... Failure teaches its own lessons. Do you want to try again? I'm ready to try again. That's my girl. yourself do you wanna fail your teachers I'm ready that's my girl All right, I yield. Failed. I'm ready. That's my girl. Okay, here we go then. And if we... Uh. <laughs> 
All right, I yield strength to endure. Failure. I'm ready to. That's my girl. Ready. To <laughs> I yield. There is a reason I am failure team. I'm ready. That's my Your teachers it. I'm ready. That's my girl. Well done, Aloy. Someone must have trained you well. You're pretty tough yourself. Many challengers have trained with me over the years. Each one the same as the last in one way or another. But you... You're quick, persistent, stubborn. You fight as someone who has always had to stand alone to survive. I know it as I know myself. You may not be of my blood, but you are of my blade, cut from the same steel. So here is my wish for you, Aloy. Do more than just survive. Flourish. The world will be better for it. I'll do my best. I know you will. Now, let me see that spear. Careful. Hmm. Pretty thing. But I can make it better. There. 
Thank you. You've had a hard journey for one so young. And you have much more to do, still, I think. I'd like to believe I've had some small part in preparing you. You have. And if I wanted to train with you again? You'd be most welcome. Do you want to fight or just work up a sweat?